Hey, this is Alex Cordobard and this is Q&A Quick Tip. I got a message from Mindagas Skudas. Sorry if I completely butchered your name, but he was wondering in sculpting, uh, he sculpts and the texture or the detail of the sculpting isn't showing up. It's very uh, blurry and you can't see the detail very well. And also he asked, he was adding, trying to add textures but only had a blank uh, a blank texture and the texture wasn't showing up. So gonna hopefully answer your question in this quick video. Let's hop on over right to Blender and I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. So with the cube selected, gonna go to the modifiers, add a multi-resolution modifier and I'm going to subdivide it to four levels. Going down here to the sculpting tab I'm now going to go to the textures and actually before that let's add a new brush. So we're going to click plus, we're going to unlink it by clicking the number right there so it's its own separate brush and we're going to name this texture brush. And now going down here to the texture, going to click new and we're that's probably what you were wondering. It's just a black image. Well, all you have to do is go over here to this panel, go to the texture panel, click open, and find wherever you saved your texture. And you will see that it's now there. So if we put up the radius and start drawing on here, you will see that it doesn't seem like the texture is drawing on there. But actually it is. It's because the mesh doesn't have enough vertices. If you look, you can see that it's not dense at all. So let me subdivide that two more times. And let's try now. Well, it doesn't seem too detailed. So let's go ahead and subdivide it all the way to eight. And now let's try. You can see that right away we get our texture on here. And it's looking pretty nice. But you could also see that the mesh has a bunch of vertices. So you, you want to make sure that your mesh is very dense. And of course you could play with the strength. You could even subdivide it one more time if you wish, if your computer can handle it. And you will see that the detail is even better. Now another way of doing this with dynamic topology, I'm going to move to my second layer, my second scene, add a cube. I'm going to add a multi-resolution to it. I'm going to subdivide it four times and apply it. Going back over here to my sculpt mode, I'm going to now try to draw it, but first I'm going to turn on dynamic topology by enabling it. Now if I draw on it, you can see that again not much happens, not much detail. So what we want to do is put the detail size down right here Let's try five. Still not too good of a result. So let's go let's go extreme. Let's try one. And you can see that right away the scales are showing up really nicely. And we could even increase the strength amount. Let's try that. You can see that it's looking really awesome. So hope those uh, two little tips helped you, whether you're using normal multi-resolution or the dynamic topology. The main thing is to make sure that your mesh has a bunch, a, a huge amount of vertices in it because in order to get this much detail, you need to have quite a bit of vertices. Also, your texture is usually, you could make some adjustments here, but it's usually in this panel. All right, hope you found value. Hope this helped you out. Uh, look forward to other questions that you guys might have, and I'm more than happy to help you out. All right, take care. Bye.